So today we're going to be talking about how exactly does a linear slide work. This is a special kind of drawer slide called a three-stage slide. Uh, most drawer slides are only two slides. So the, SAR, the Misumi SAR or SAR 300 series is a three-stage, 200 series is a two-stage. Um, the SAR 330 just denotes how much its stroke length is or how far that it goes. So if I were to look at this linear slide, it's set up into three stages, but for now we'll just talk about it like, as we imagine it as a two-stage slide. There's one half of the slide here and one half of the slide here. As I push one slide up, one half moves independently from the other. Pretty simple stuff. You've probably used drawer slides before in your kitchen drawers or your washroom or bathroom or restroom drawers. Um, a three-stage slide is a little bit different in that normally, typically a two-stage slide only has two sections that come up, but a three-stage slide has an intermediary extra gear here or extra slide that I can push up that gives me a little bit of extended range. Um, in practice, um, at least with the, the models that I've come up with, uh, you're only going to be able to get to about 90-ish percent extension to about this point. Um, so you are going to lose a little bit of stroke length um, using a three-stage slide over a two-stage slide, but your overall system will be a little more compact because you don't need to use as many because even though you're losing some of that stroke length, the stroke length is still longer than a two-stage slide stroke length. Um, so keep that in mind. When it comes to mounting one of these, you can mount it in this orientation, you can mount it like so. If I were to do a horizontal slide, I'd probably want to mount it like this way because if I'm going to mount it horizontally, you've got to think about the forces that are going to be flexing on it. And if I'm pushing down on this section, there's going to be a lot less flex because there's going to be a lot more strength this way across. And if I have it like so, now when I'm pressing, now I'm just flexing on this section of the system here as opposed to quite a beefy section on the slide. If you're going to move these things to mount them vertically, it really doesn't matter whether you do them horizontally or vertically or whether they're in this orientation or this orientation. Completely irrelevant. So how do we actually get one of these powered with a motor using uh, some strings or some cables uh, to be able to move these things horizontally or move them vertically up and down? Uh, the process is actually not that difficult. We can kind of think of this like uh, just pulling on something with a string. So if I were to attach a connector here on the end just so we can get to the end. If I were to grab a line here and just tie a quick just hold a quick knot. If I were to hold this and I were to pull it on one side, it would extend the slide. If I pull the other way, it would extend the other way. So I pull with the slide and pull away from the slide to be able to actually extend and retract. Now, if I were to continue this, or if I were to add another pulley up at the other end, that's the wrong side. And if I were to route this, through that pulley. Now, what's going to happen is my string's tied here. That means this string can't, uh, can't shorten anymore. And as I pull this string, it's going to shorten the distance from this pulley to this pulley until I get to a point where I can't shorten the string any longer. Now, if I were to keep going through this, I could just add another stage my system if I wanted to and I could route this pull it string through here and if I were to close this system up again so now it's going to pull on this fixed point and it's going to try to shorten this string and shorten this string until I keep going and I can keep going all the way until I could keep going through as many loops as I want when it comes through a retraction string and pulling this thing back all I'd have to do is attach a string to the bottom here where I can pull on this side to bring my extension string back out and bring my main slide back in. And I could actually just run the string in reverse to be able to pull it backwards. So for example, if I were to take this and I were to do a hard tie off on this side, all I'd have to do is, again, pull hard on this side, but we can work through our pulleys here. So if I were to go through my pulley system and come through this top pulley, and now to bring it backwards, I can pull in the opposite direction. And if I were to keep going in this conclusion, 
I could come through this side on this pulley. And now if this were fully extended, I can pull on this, which is going to pull on this string. It can't get any shorter. This string can't get any shorter. Now this long string all the way down to the bottom of our system is now going to get pulled and get shorter and shorter and shorter until we retract the whole system. So let's take a look at what this would look like if we were to attach it all together in a, a final system. So if we were to continue to its final logical conclusion, uh, this might be where we get. We've got our extension string in gray and our retraction string in black. So with our extension string, as I wind up the motor, the extension string is pulling and starting to wind around the pulley. The retraction string is letting go or letting out some of its cable. And uh, as that goes around, it starts to pull itself around and we're pulling through our system, pulling through our system, pulling through, pulling through, pulling through, pulling through until we get to the last system in the chain where we're going to pull. And as I keep pulling and as I keep stretching, eventually we get to the point where we get to max extension on our slides where we can't go any further. And again, you see, as I was talking about earlier, we're never fully going to get full extension of this slide. You can see that I can still get about about another five-ish centimeters out of this slide. So I'm actually not losing. I'm stopping about there, and that's about as high as I get. So I'm actually not losing that much travel using one of these. And then the opposite side, as I start to turn the other way, I start to wrap the retraction string around, which is pulling on this system, pulling on the black string, pulling on the black string, pulling on the black string, all the way up, pulling on the black string, until I get on to this spring that's pulling on. And then I keep rotating around and uh, it's letting out the extension string as I'm pulling up. I hope that that uh, helped you further your understanding of your uh, linear slides and how they work. Um, again, if you're looking for a video on how do you actually rig one of these things up, you can take a look in the description down below.